Saki no Yashihara Danse ni. Ogres have layers. So say ma. Don't drop that bombshell on me. What the freak? We gained seven percent. That's because he knows us more. We're getting easier to like. Uh huh. Oh my gosh, I can't. Oh my gosh, he. Oh my gosh, he created a child. Somebody had a baby with him. Oh no. Oh. Damn. Chapter okay. nine. The ornamental hairpin. Yep. Oh. What did my ears just pick up? Worried and confused, I looked to Aroha-san for help. Jenso-san, there is nothing for you to worry about. Did he say that to cast me aside? Yep. Or was he telling me to not worry? Aroha smiled at me and pushed my back softly. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> he was telling me that I should leave this place and not worry about the woman. Aroha! Wait! I came here for you! I'm afraid I have. I'm afraid that I have. Ah! Oh. Ah! I'm afraid that I have nothing to say to you. Oh, you he leave? bad! He's not playing child support, is he? Oh. That's bad. Ooh. Hey, should shouldn't have got your dick wet if you didn't want a child. Exactly. <laughs> Please, Aroha. Can we spend time together as a family just for today? The lady came close to Aroha-san and snuggled her body next to his arm. Jesus. Ooh. And the lady directed a frosty glare at me. I've heard of you. Iroha-san made an exception to take care of you, right? But can't you hand him over for today? It's fine, isn't it? Uh, uh, are you talking to me? But... You gave my, you give my child time to spend with his father, okay? Uh, I uh, not knowing what to do with all this, Irohasan pushed her away. Clients should not make their own deals amongst themselves. As manager, I am the one in charge. Shop clerk, a customer oh. is leaving now. Please see her off. Oh, Aroha! With great ease, Aroha-san escaped the grasp of the woman who tried to grab his okay. clothing. Okay, okay, okay. So they've tried to iron out the fact that he's prostituting out a child, and now he's ignoring his family. And he's an ogre. And he's a fucking ogre that doesn't look green. I'm appalled. I'm a fucking ogre. This is... This was such a bad decision. Why did we pick him? Yeah, you picked Why him. Why did we pick him? We you... should have gone for Happy Labrador. I... He taught me out of going for Happy Labrador. Um... I believe your intention was the fact that you didn't want me breathing down the microphone every time I spoke. <laughs> True, you would actually give yourself an asthma attack. Probably. Well, Jenso-san, shall we go? Hiroha-san pulled on my arm as if nothing had happened. Is it okay to leave her? Yes, it's no problem. Because I have absolutely nothing to talk about with that woman, apart from the fact that we have a human baby child. <laughs> well, mostly human. But I was still worried and looked back. When I did... She was glaring at me like an enraged ogre. Oh. I wonder if she's thinking that I stole her husband. Somehow, I can understand that woman's feelings. 
It makes me feel sorry for her. Understanding something in your head and being faced with reality. Weighing one's feelings in totally different ways. The place that I was brought to was Aroha-san's room. He went back to the room where everyone is waiting for him to lead the shop. He said that he That's wouldn't. me. Oh. <laughs> he said that he wouldn't have a child, but I worried endlessly while holding my knees to my chest. Perhaps all women that come here come to experience this painful feeling. Like a torture chamber? <laughs> As I let out a large sigh, I heard the door open. That kettle isn't for tea. Oh. Sorry to keep you waiting. What are you doing all scrunched up like that? Admiring the kettle. Iroha-san laughed at me a little with a voice that rang clear as a bell. You're so mean. How could you say something like that, even when you know what I'm thinking? I am sorry. To be honest, I don't really know how to make you feel better. I wasn't really planning to give you a blowjob right now. Won't you accept this? With a small package in his hand, Aroha-san sat down in front of me. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. Jesus. <laughs> What could he be giving me? I'm worried about whether I should accept this or not. Yeah, it might We're be. We're giving love in a dump. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna make a sexual transmitted disease joke. But uh. I think that joke's better. Uh. Uh. Why? What is it? I'm confused. Why? You didn't do anything wrong. Apart oh, from... <laughs> everything? Apart from everything? Even if she didn't come here, I would have wanted you to have this. I brought this for you during the day. So, won't you accept it? It's gonna be the fucking same hairpin that we gave him. Oh, jeez. You bought it then? Um, well, I also... I took the ornamental hairpin out of my chest pocket and gave it to Aroha. Is this for me? It's not a tribute or anything. Because apparently we're now in Hunger Games. I was thinking the exact same thing. I thought that it would really look good on you. You're so blonde. Well, well. So, it's an exchange, then. I nodded and accepted Aroha-san's package. God damn it. <laughs> Can I open it? Of course. I was so excited and I untied the small package. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> and when I opened the package, there was a white transparent cloth. <laughs> oh jeez, this isn't getting any better. <laughs> When I spread it open, it looked like there were two straps that could be hung on one's shoulders. What? <laughs> <laughs> this is too see-through to cover one's body and its length only goes to my thigh. So basically it's a sex, sexy underwear thing. Is it a negligee? Thing. Uh, it's a sexy it... underwear thing. Is it Exactly, is it a negligee? Oh, I don't I... know what one of those is. Oh. Yeah. Don't, don't. Don't Google it. I'm gonna Google it right now and record what I find. No, I'm not gonna. <laughs> uh, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I called it! I fucking called it! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Holy shit! I'm guessing it's French. <laughs> it's sleepwear. That's how you spell negligee. 
It's sleepwear from a foreign country. Something called a negli. Negli. There we go. It's a negli. <laughs> I heard that it's comfortable to sleep in, and I thought that it would look good on you. I hate it when men buy women sexy underwear. It's like a. It's hint, hint. What, what are you trying to prove? It's it's not exactly underwear. I mean, you couldn't wear it under anything. Oh. How it's... how bad are we talking? Are we talking like a nighty sort of thing, or is it just see through cloth? If if a nighty were completely see through. Oh. And fitted and had cut out bits and lace bits. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's not cool. <laughs> the, this is sleepwear? Honestly, I was so surprised. <laughs> Fedora Hassan went through the trouble of getting me this. He went into a shop in the middle of the day and bought this. <sighs> Could you <laughs> try it on for me? This sleepwear is so transparent. <laughs> this sleepwear is so Just yesterday. Just like his intentions. Ah, I felt my cheeks burning from shame. Both. But I couldn't resist Aroha-san's eyes that were full with expectation. Okay. Oh, damn it. Why wasn't that a choice? I held the negligee to my chest and move to a different room to change. What's the point? Ugh. What's the point? You may as well Why? do it in front of him. He's gonna see he's already exactly. seen everything. L exactly. Like he watched her bath. Ugh. Oh jeez. What what and He followed her. Uh, I somehow managed to wear it, but this is more transparent than it first appeared. <laughs> Don't stay in the corner. Let me have a good look. Even if you say so, this really is embarrassing. Do you really think that people who like over who oh who live overseas wear this kind of thing? Do they? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Some fucking Victoria's Secret shit. As I asked Aroha, he slowly approached me. They do, and that's exactly why it came here. <laughs> Jeez. A bewitching smile came across his face, and just as soon as he came in front of me... Oh, fuck, I thought for a oh, second man. I'd have to censor this bit. Wait, hold on. <sighs> oh, jeez. He softly... Oh... He picked her up. Um. Sorry. He softly picked me up and carried me to the center of the room. I can walk by myself, so please let me down. If I wait for you to start moving, tomorrow morning will come. <sighs> it really does look good on you. Jeez. It brings pleasure to my eyes that I can see through to your white skin. Oh, jeez. Erohasan's <sighs> words made me feel embarrassed and my body went stiff. But... Erohasan was at a loss for words. Wait, hold up, hang on a minute. I just realised, even if we refused this gift, he would still force it on us. Yeah, he would. He, yeah, of course they would. Have. Wow. <sighs> Wondering what happened, I brought my face up. And then... Perhaps I made a mistake to make you wear that. You think? It... Rohasan, your appearance... Oh, oh he's, he's gonna, gonna be a yoga on the next click! Oh, yep! Geez. <laughs> oh, jeez! I can't help it, <laughs> can I? You're almost naked in my arms, Jensen-san! <laughs> It was my mistake to hold you! So, you're thinking of me as a woman? Is that what this means? I can't believe that Aroha-san feels this way! Without a thought, my heart went wild. <laughs> if I 
was going to come to this, if it was going to come to this, I shouldn't have explained it to you. You know, if we get that super happy ending, I'm going to have to do that voice through the sex scene. <laughs> Shit. He looked embarrassed and a bitter smile came across his face. I'm... Mm. You can't hide anything. You really can't. You really can't hide anything, can you? That's right, but you're not even an ogre, and you can't hide anything, can you? Fair point. Arohasan slowly distanced himself from me. Reluctant to part from him, I spoke as if to call him back. Um... May I put the ornamental hairpin in your hair? <laughs> really? <laughs> Jeez. It will surely look good with your current appearance. Okay, go ahead! How long has it been since I last dressed up? This morning. Like, two hours. <laughs> dressing up isn't such a big thing. It's dressing down that's the big thing. Well, hey! Oh. But I'm still really excited to do this. I sometimes thought that I'd like to see what you look like when you dressed up beautifully like you used to long ago, Haro Hassan. So maybe I can get some idea of what it, will, it, what it was like from this. As I said that, I softly placed the ornamental hairpin into his white hair. All done! The one looks better than I expected. How is it? One single ornamental hairpin. I didn't expect that he would look this gorgeous and beautiful. You look... Alright. Jesus. If there were some other words to express his beauty... <laughs> Wait a second, why haven't we got a hairpin in the picture? Because they don't do that many slides, that's why. They couldn't be bothered to draw a hairpin, god damn it. <laughs> and I knew these words. I would probably use many of those words. Iroha-san, please have a look yourself. When I tried to move to show him a mirror, he quickly put his arms around my waist. It's not interesting for me to look at myself! Because more than anything, I want to see your captivating face! I feel so embarrassed. <laughs> I said that while trying to suppress the feeling of tightness that I began to feel in my chest. He was actually a boa constrictor now. Eroha gave me a subtle smile and then kissed me in such a way that his lips enveloped mine. As soon as I felt that it would get more passionate, he quickly separated from me. Eroha-san? I looked up and stared at Eroha-san's face. When I did, he suddenly turned away from me and smiled in a self-deprecating manner. Everything seemed to backfire in front of you. It's so irritating! Huh? Let's go soon. If we play around too much, a scary ogre might come and attack you! Oh no! Well, you should change your clothes. I have a feeling that that kind of already happened, the whole being attacked by an ogre thing. Yeah... As if he's trying to persuade my feelings. Arohasan turned his back to me and urged me to change my clothes. With no other choice, I followed his orders. She kinda did have a choice. He had a choice to not do it in the first place. <laughs> the next morning, as I talked to Aroha and headed towards the entrance, there was the woman who visited the shop last night. That crazy lady. I suddenly became worried. It's fine. So, please, get home safely today. Yeah. I took Iroha-san's hand and tangled my fingers in between his. This is why she lost the job, because she never gets home. <laughs> yep. Yep. 
I made a promise with him only inside my heart. What? Okay. I wish that he would only love me. Wait, what? There's a boss? Boss! Big boss! Big boss. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> Snake voice. Hold on. <clears throat> well, if it's a request from a client, I guess I have no choice. <laughs> and then Snake comes in. Literally, Snake's picture just pops up. My ears picked up the voices of the boss in the red light district. Uh, of the boss of the red light district and a customer in conversation. Sir, you'll let me spend time with Roha tonight, right? Ah. Yes, I will speak to Aroha about it. That's about as close as to Big Boss's voice as I can get, I think. Keep going. Mm -hmm. mm. She is an old customer of mine. When I saw the suffering on his face, I could tell that Aroha-san was also in a tough situation. But... Bag. Oh. If the boss of the red light district asks me, I cannot refuse. Hmm. But Aroha-san... There is a part of me... That feels that I can't forgive him. How painful. I wish that the world would just end right here and now. A bit dramatic. A little bit. If so, then everything would stop with the way it was before, where it was just a Rohasan and me. What? She just realized no that, that they're in the world. <laughs> so if the whole thing stopped, they would stop too. <laughs> <sighs> Before I could lose my head. Or hand. I ran away from that place. <laughs> You're just like, what the fuck are you on about? I was trying to make a dainty hand joke. Uh, okay. Yep. <laughs> she ends so sad. Behind me, I could hear... Ugh. Wow, what happened to my voice then? Behind me, I could hear Aroha-san's voice calling out to stop me. Snake! <laughs> Snake? SNAKE! <laughs> I confined myself to my room and desperately tried to calm myself down. If I see him now, I will probably end up taking an unsavory attitude with him. Good! Just then, there was someone calling me from outside the room. Of course. Jenso Sam. Eh? My body shuddered. There's no mistake about it. This voice is... I've come again. Iroha san May I come in? With his soft voice, Iroha san opened the sliding door to my room. I couldn't stop worrying about you since you left me like that. In front of me was Aroha-san, smiling with a distressed look on his face. As soon as I saw him, I spoke without thinking. Please run away with me! Uh, Jenso san I clung to Aroha-san and looked up at his face in a, be in a begging manner. I can't stand the idea of you spending time with another woman! Wow, bunny boiler. So, you're asking me to run away? That's impossible. It will also do fuck all. Because my child will grow up without a father. He didn't take it at all seriously and laughed out loud. Ha ha ha. That means you're going to sleep with her, right? Why can you do that with her, but not with me? It's... Too cruel. I collapsed onto my knees right there. Iroha san held my body tightly. I bet she's a big investor. I don't want him to be kind like this. Tears swelled up in my eyes along with frustration and sadness. 
She has so sad. You said that you're just a manager. You said that you don't take clients anymore. He lied. Oh! Shit! What the? <laughs> I needed to end it on that. <laughs> oh, fucking oh, damn it. Man.